good day. It's good day in this sentence. This is Elena and I will be 21st century hour for today. I am here to bring you the freshest and the most recent news of the hour. Your news, our business, welcome to the News Channel. For the end, for the 21st century education, the precise definition of globalization and multicultural literacy. The detailed definition of social defense. Science meaning of visual defense. The thorough definition of financial defense. The detailed definition of cyber digital defense. Precise definition of echo details. Last head, the thorough definition of arts and creative details. This is Delanena and I will be a 21st century hour for today. Precise definition of globalization and multicultural literacy, an inclusive world of Kate Yasin.
provide us some clear information about financial literacy. Okay? Thank you, Jenna. For our information, financial literacy is the knowledge of how to make smart decisions with money. For us to fully understand financial literacy, let's watch this video. How you can make yourself more valuable to potential employers, co-workers, and customers. How can you do your current job better, even if it is a minimum wage job, internship, or volunteer position? Are you working harder than others? First one there, last one to leave, not texting while on the job. These types of choices help differentiate you from others and they create value for you in the job market. Remember, in the real world you don't get paid for effort, but rather when you create value for others. And managing that money is just as important as earning it. That's all. This is Alan Yadonamas reporting. Thank you, Alan. And for all our cyber digital literacy, here is our give us the information. Thank you, Jenna. Cyber digital literacy refer to a particular set of skills that help us navigate the digital space, understand the implications of our action, and protect ourselves from cyber threats. For us to have a better understanding of this topic, let's watch this trending video. Digital literacy is the ability to use digital tools to solve problems, produce innovative projects, enhance communication, and collaborate effectively to meet the challenges of an increasingly digital world. Many organizations have created frameworks to support digital literacy. They may use slightly different digital communication terms, but all of their definitions include the power to actively create and not just consume content across media types, the ability to combine technical and cognitive skills to successfully find, evaluate, create, and communicate information and to tell impactful stories, the experience to know when, why, and how to use digital tools productively, creatively, and ethically. When students become digitally literate, they can express their personal stories, engage with courses and subject matter to gain a deeper understanding, enhance their career prospects, and learn new ways to fully participate in civic life. Let's hear from education leaders about what digital literacy means to them. Digital literacy means the ability to find, use, evaluate, apply, create, and share information across the internet. We all know that we live in a digital world now and the World Wide Web is our playground for both leisure and work. So the ability and competence to know how to use digital tools and to communicate in a digital space is almost as important as being able to read and write. Different people prefer different terms, such as digital literacy, digital fluency, media literacy, information literacy. Stuart Selber, for instance, uh, argues that it's important to think in terms of literacies in the plural. However, most of these terms share the same substance and definition when it comes down to it, which is we want students to have agency. This means that they can not only read and write functionally, but also so critically. As a faculty member, I'm most interested in critical digital literacy, which means that students are using increasingly powerful and relevant technologies to have agency. That's all for today. I'm Arvidox Grace reporting. Back to you, Jeanette. Thank you, Ara. Thank you, Ara. And for our information, financial literacy, you escape to give us the information. Here's our precise definition of echo literacy. It is an understanding that humans are connected to everything in the world, including animals, insects, plants, and rocks. Let's watch this video for better understanding. The Philippines has among the highest trash collection rates in Southeast Asia, yet it's the world's third biggest source of plastic. Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of 2000 or Republic Act 9003 describes solid waste management as a discipline associated with the control of generation, storage, collection, transfer and transport, processing and disposal of solid waste. It contains eye-popping figures. Every day, 
almost 48 million shopping bags are used throughout the Philippines, adding up to more than 17 billion a year. This is Kate Chancel reporting. Thank you Kate for the clear information. Finally, here is Stephanie to give us the clear information about arts and creative methods. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> 